Hi, I'm Sanya Ing, and this is Ing Chromatography. Uh, I got uh, this idea from my friend Michelle. She has a YouTube channel here, and uh, she did Ink Chromatography some of her inks. So I decided to do it for my own because I have more black than, uh, than she has. So here is the first one. This is standard Lamy Black, which is normal water silver fountain pen ink. A fountain pen I'm using making these lines or is Haro Glass Nipper fountain pen because it's actually the stem is a nip so it's really like super wet. And there is that black one. And this lemmy pack is really basic and I have find it quite bothering. And it bleeds on some cheaper papers. And here is Parker Wink, which was my first ink bottle and it was also my only ink bottle for quite a long time, so that's why it's so low. This ink may have some really interesting things going on because I have seen when I draw with this that it has some like white milky substances. And then I have platinum carbon ink, which is pigment based ink. And this should be waterproof, but it's not completely waterproof. Oh, there was quite much of ink. This ink has this thing that it's smells it smells like Indian ink and <laughs> I put this only to my Twispy Eco because I knew that I can disassemble Twispy Eco completely if I want to clean it. I would never put that ink on vintage fountain pen and well here I <laughs> just dipped vintage fountain pen on it but because it only got the nip is easy to clean out. Next is Sailor Black Ink with this Kivakura this is my favorite inks. I think I use this most often. And this is two pigment ink. And it should be waterproof. Ah, what happened? Tip. Oh, no, I make huge mess. Well, that's quite common when doing fountain pens, getting ink somewhere where it shouldn't be. And this ink. It's quite well. It's great for like cheaper paper because it's pigment based. It's like zip top of the paper. And next we have some colored inks because I did a decided that I want to do the chromography for all of my inks. So to know what these are made of. Uh, this is dye mine maroon, which is red. Nice deep red. And next one we have Diamond Jade Green, which is my favorite ink. I'm planning to order a bigger bottle of because some of my fountains can't feel from this bottle, and this is quite what will the feel from and it's nice bright green I doubt these pigments are made that, that I doubt that these things are made from similar dye I think this all of these have like other gloss going and this is Pelican Edelstein which have this beautiful heavy glass bottle and this is in color amethyst I really like how this uh, Edelstein works even if it is violet ink and it should be like really hard for it out of pens I have this in my Pelican M100 which is that like almost completely white pen and 
I have no problem with that thing. I'm thinking getting more of those Edelstein ink because they seem to be very well behaving in the vintage space. Here we have Lamy Turquoise. It is also really bright turquoise colored ink. Also really nice too. Works well. And this <laughs> lummy bottles are easy to fill because they have this like a buzzing thing here on the bottom. So the pens that have longer nibs will fit nicely. And last one we have Pelican Brown. This is too quite nice ink. Like standard brown color. And now we are going to jump to the time lapse and I will show how they react when I dip them in the water basin. So here are the chromatography results. The first is the Lamy Black that really got going on. It's like really r dirty grey color, which is almost like greenish, and then there's blue on top of it. So, and it left black line here. So I think there actually may be some black in it, but I doubt. I think it's mostly that like dark brown that is a little bit green tinted. Then we have Parker Quink, which has blue and orange in it. That's really weird that it doesn't like this orange edge here. But that's what uh, uh, Michelle also noticed that some of these black inks has like yellow and orange component. Then we have Platinum Carbon that didn't go anywhere. This is good sign, it's really waterproof, and I think that's the reason why it sm smells like Indian ink. And this is really like, it, it didn't bleed at all. Here we have Sailor Kivakura, which should be waterproof. But as, as you can see, it's spread out quite far. I have noticed that in use often with watercolors, it's my watercolors. watercolors. Then we have Diamond Maroon, which is our first colored one. It has this orange line here, and or this pinkish color there, and a little bit orange also there. So I think this is a mix of orange and that bright pink. Then we have Diamond Jade Green, which I did two swatches because this was the first swatch that I let, let like hanging out of the water pocket. And then I did one with just keeping the paper straight. But here you can see it has this little bit uh, turquoise component and then green and it doesn't leave any mark. And this is like results that you want to get in fountain pen inks because this means it's completely water soluble and it will like flush out easily and I have noticed it with this ink that it flushes out really easily from my pens. Then we have Pelican Edelstein Amethyst which has this pinkish wallet component here and black there which is qu quite what I was expecting because the color is like this muted purple. Then we have Lamy Turquoise which is also has not leave any mark here it is good, and the all colors here, and it's turquoise all the way. So I think this is actually some kind of turquoise color. Then we have Pelican Brown. It has re really slight blue tint here, and then like bright orange here. So I think they yeah, tinted the orange a little bit more brown, adding blue. So that was the results. And if you want something. Hmm. Learn from here. I would say that platinum carbon ink is really good if you want waterproof ink that is really waterproof. If you want to test is your fountain pen ink really easy to flush out, just make the line on the this, uh, 
standard coffee filter paper and then dip it the other side on the water. So that was what I have this time. Hope you you like this video and leave a thumbs up and if you have done in chromatography by yourself, I would love to hear that and see the links or to pixel videos or blog posts or whatever you have done. See you in my next video. Bye!